Let's get it on ya. Select to make your first pick. Let's get it on ya. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Let's get it on ya. Choose and pick the best one. Let's get it on ya. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's get it on ya. Select to make your first pick. Let's get it on ya. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Let's get it on ya. Choose and pick the best one. Let's get it on ya. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's get it on ya. Select to make your first pick. Let's get it on ya. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Let's get it on ya. Choose and pick the best one. Let's get it on ya. Michael Bowden back here again. And I am your host, Destiny Hero Mike. And welcome back to D-Time! We're here, baby. It's always D-Time and in more ways than one. And super, super briefly, check it out. Check it out. I just want to show you guys, before I show you guys my regionals deck list, we got to take a look at the beautiful D-Time play mat right here. Our boy, Captain Tenacious, the original or enemy of justice. Captain Tenacious, the Doom Lord, Diamond Dude, Dreadmaster, and Phoenix Enforcer, which is actually an Enemy of Justice card, not just DPE. Of course, you got to retrain, and yours truly, it's D-Time right here. So I just wanted to show that off to you guys. But yes, here is the my Regionals deck profile. Unfortunately, I did not uh, top at all. I actually bubbled out. It was eight rounds. It was eight rounds of Swiss, and... I get real easy, guys. Ready, guys? Ready? One sword soul, right? One sword soul. I, I didn't have to write this down. One sword soul. Seven tier limit. Seven tier limit matchups. Seven. And the record was three. Uh, sorry, we won four, tied one, lost three. So eight rounds there. Uh, so I either destroyed tier limits or got destroyed by tier limits due to luck. You can't always beat tier limits. Hero is a strong matchup against Tillamans, but you can't not always beat Tillamans. But without further ado, I really want to get into it. Uh, and fortunately, guys, I already have my invite, so no worries, guys. I already have my invite. I was a gatekeeper, so in this case, the good guys won because I was really nothing more than a gatekeeper. I really wanted to, to just prove the power of my version of Hero. And this time, I came up shorthanded, unfortunately. But it is still a very strong build, as all I fought against was Tillamans, literally. And by the way, the Sword Soul player, I did beat. So, into the deck profile, we're going to go ahead and start off with the uh, the Liquid Soldier. One, the one Shadow Mist, and two Elemental Hero Stratos. So, that's my Elemental Hero party there. So, there's that. And then we've got the... Onto the Vision family, right? I like to kind of just keep it separated for you guys. So... Then we have the Vision Hero Ferris, three of them, two Vion, and the one Increase. Yeah, I'm only playing one Increase, guys. I know I might I might have seemed like I was teasing more than one Increase, but actually, no, I'm just going to play, stick with, this worked just fine for me. Uh, there were times I did draw, like, I break with this. There were times, but the hand, like, I, it's not like I was going to win the game anyway, you know, and... In the, like, in, the, in the few cases I did draw him. I'm going to say 80% of the time I popped off. So 85% even. So I'm going to say about 85% of the time I popped off with or without him in hand. So um, yeah, I he wasn't unnecessary. He's necessary, but I didn't need him at two as bad as I thought I did. So for me, it works at one for me. It works very well. Worked very well at one. We'll just keep it there at one. So... And then we're going to go ahead and get into the Destiny Hero family. So, one Denier, two Malicious. We've got the Dreadmaster here. Uh, Diamond Dude. Signed Diamond Dude. I love it. Uh, the Decider. One Dark Angel. And the Plasma. That makes eight Destiny Hero. So, yes, this is still a Destiny Hero uh, build. Very strong. Um... Very strong. It's just a lot of gas. I that that's really all I can make of it. I want to say the MVP of the day. Surprisingly, not Dark Law. It was Plasma. So, and if if any of you guys are already familiar with my style of deck list and play, you guys already know what's on the way. So then onto the spells, we got the one Rota, triple mass change. And by the way, guys, this is a forty card deck. So count as many times as you need because some people say. Oh yeah, your deck's not forty. It's 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 thirty nine. It's thirty eight. No, it's forty, guys. Like it's forty. <laughs> it's been ran through. It just got ran through. The, the deck list is forty. So, 
uh, three mass change, or maybe I'm going too fast. If I'm going too fast, guys, please stop me and tell me if I'm going too fast for you guys. That also might be why it seems like I'm playing under 40. I'm not. I'm just, it's just 40 flat. And the one parmization. Oh, I'm almost forgetting. And the call by the grave. And so these are our mandatories here. So, yeah. And, you know, self-explanatory. You need Dark Wall. You know, you need Rota. Call by is very strong. And you can't play the deck without Poly at all, right? So... There's that. Also forgetting the Miracle Fusion. So, the one-off Miracle Fusion. So, yeah, these are our one-offs here. So, for spells. Just a quick recap so you guys can see. Because I don't want to, again, I don't want to move too fast. So, just a quick recap. Uh, there, very briefly for you guys. And then we've got Triple A Hero Lives. We've, basically, we're going on to Hero Engine, right? And then we've got the... Three e emergency call. This is a really good. This this card came in clutch, like in terms of consistency. The e emergency call. So I like it. Excuse me. I like it at three. It's also, but it's good to side out too. I can. I know I can side one out and be good. I could. I could do my odd numbers in siding out and just keep it. Keep things as a two of, a strong two of, and still see peak consistency during siding. So that's the e hero engine family, and then we're gonna go ahead into the d family. Triple Destiny Draw. This card was actually really good. I, I won games against Tillman with this card. I, was, I had consistency with uh, more consistency with Destiny Draw. I love this card. I'm sorry. It's my version of Pot. A lot of players choose to play Prosperity. That's totally fine. Uh, except you you get cut off. You get cut off of if you use Pot of Prosperity, you're gonna get cut off from using the. Let's go get him right now. The Elemental Hero Liquid Soldier. So if you use Pot of Prosperity, you're not going to be able to use Liquid Soldier that same turn. Uh, the Draw 2 effect. So just keep that in mind if you do use Prosperity. But with Destiny Draw, we don't care about that. We draw 2 for free. No limits. It's not once per turn. Feels really good. And yeah, and it's just the best side art card as well. So for that Board Brick you need, that Hand Trap you need, you're going second. You know you're going second. Yeah, that goes. This gets swapped out for a hand trap or a board breaker very easily. Why draw in to your out when it itself can be the out? So, these are just almost even flex spots, if you will. But I love this card. It it, it gets me there. It lets me see a hero lives or a fusion destiny, which is a three of in this build. So yeah, you need three fusion destiny and, and also. Speaking of you know hero destiny and hero lives, uh, fusion destiny and hero lives. I might go to secret rares, so I can see them more often in my hand. I just put these away in my binder and just play the secret rares. Secret rares are beautiful. I think I might just do that honestly. Uh, and they just secret rares are just beautiful, right? It's just something about them. Of course, these are the highest rarities, right? And they're just gorgeous. They're the most gorgeous thing in the world. But I think I heard that it, the secret rares are carry more weight, so you might you'll see them more often. I'm thinking. So I, I'm going to go ahead and swap these out for my secret rares and see how we do going forward. Hopefully we see them more often. And my triple D-Force. This card is the MVP. D-Force. It is the MVP. Uh, I won so many games single-handedly. I went against a tier limit uh, player. One without zero Dark Law in sight. No Dark Law. It was D-Force that carried me. So, yeah. You, you get on this card. I... I Stop sleeping on this card, please. This card is insane. I keep look. I'm a, I look. I swear by that card, D Force. That card is insane, insane. So let's go ahead and get into the extra deck. We've got Dystopia, which burned a tier limit player in time, and I won, which is awesome. The Dominance, the DPE is me, is me, and then we've got Dangerous. So these are the uh, Destiny heroes. So the only guy I'm missing is the uh, Dusktopia. I haven't found a true use for him, so I wish I had a better effect, truth be told. But then we get, go ahead and get into the Elemental Hero package. So the Sunrise, so good. Escarito and the Absolute Zero, which they all did a great job in tournament. Love them. Very, very important. Cannot play Hero without them. The Blast. Blast is awesome. I love Blast. One Dark Law because if they get rid of one during that time, then it's just... That's, it only requires one to win, in my opinion. Acid, so we have a variety. We have water, dark, and wind. We have a variety of what we want to mass change. Everything except for Koga. Then we've got the Dread Decimator and the Wonder Driver for the Lynx. Two Cross Crusader, two for Grind Game, 
and one Baguska uh, for the D shifter never came up. And yeah, yeah, it just straight up never came up, Baguska, honestly. Also, I don't have enough practice with Baguska, so yeah, I don't have enough practice with Baguska, but I had him just in case. But you, as you guys saw, I played damn near eight tier element games. So, by, so guys, by the fifth round, fifth, no, 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 by the sixth round, no, fifth round, I was exhausted. I was exhausted after the fourth round because how many, uh, fifth, no, 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 fifth round because how many tiers I had already faced. And then the rest of the day, it was just nothing but tier. So, yeah, it's insane. I, I yeah, so it's, it, tiers are good. We have a good matchup, but we're not going to win all the time. We're not. We're either going to draw, like, it, it, it's, I went 50 50 just about with tiers. So, yeah, I went 50 50. I won three, tied one, and lost three. So, anyways, onto the side deck. Anybody that I, I I can't believe I'm I feel like I don't even want to play Yu-Gi-Oh right now. That's how bad this format is and how many uh, Tealman players there are, man. Like I before I get too far into a rant, let's just get into the side deck. <laughs> you guys can hear and feel the frustration in my voice. It's just insane. I didn't get to play actual Yu-Gi-Oh. All I did was just play Tealman Yu-Gi-Oh during that day. So, ugh, sorry, I had to get that off my chest. Three Ghost Bell. Go, three Ghost Bell really got there. I absolutely love Ghost Bell. Uh, it is good against the, the, uh, the bestials, the bestials, I got to keep my turn, stop them from targeting, and just, yeah, so, she's really good in side deck, I love it, and then, Ash is the MVP as well, stop the happiness, while I'm going first, I stole my turn back, and it felt great, and I won that game, anytime that I Ash a happiness, the only reason why I played this card was to stop a branded, branded, branded fusion, and to, uh, stop the the annoying happiness and any other weird random rogue strategy ash is just amazing besides just some pointers and meta not just rogue you can stop the tillament field spell you can stop the gigantic sprite uh you can stop the uh what was that what is that uh you you can you, you can stop uh, one of the ishizus from milling if that's just literally what they just sent from the hand to the graveyard or something like that uh, you can also stop the the the, the sprite starter. That's that's five relevant cards. There's more too. She's just insane, and she covers all the rogue matchups. She just she just has you covered. She covers all the other off branded weird matches that you might not be ready for because everybody's so over prepared for tier and rightfully so. But very 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 strong card. I'm sorry. Uh, I I respect Ash. So. And as we continue with the spells, Triple Lightning Storm. This card was okay. I might take this out for something else. I just don't know yet. I almost did Token Collector, but because they're, and I actually did end up going against Sword Soul. Go figure. But no, I just kept it general. That's why I went uh, Lightning Storm for those random rogue matchups again. But also, it's general enough to break even uh, certain meta boards. So, also really good against Cash Tier stuff, too. So, yeah. And then we're gonna go into since we're still on board breaker, so we have our triple, triple evenly, and then for dual to continue the hand traps, the three infinite impermanence, and that is our deck. It is forty. Um, so yeah, it, it's that's you know pretty much the deck. I think it performed great. It performed very well. I'm proud of it. I'm not like uh, salty. I'm a little irritated that I had to play nothing but tear the whole man. If I'd known that, I probably not still. I, I probably still would have went. But yeah, it was it was it was a rough day, man. It was a really rough day. But I had myself a great time, honestly, and I still have my invite, fortunately, for the uh, nationals. But yes, just a closer look at the uh, it's D time play mat. So here we go. We're zoomed in. So I hope you guys are ready for these pre-orders, I mean, please go ahead and subscribe. I really appreciate it. This is obviously a hero-oriented channel, and I'm just really excited to push this content out to you guys. I'm also thinking about doing more mass to do a content. I know you guys, a lot of you asked about that as well, but I really appreciate you guys. If you guys have any questions, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you guys think, and I will catch y'all in the next one.